Okay, here we're trap 18. We're gonna see what we got in here. This is gonna be first uh, group that I'm gonna hive for this year. This is the first year I'm using eight frames in these traps because last year there just wasn't enough with five in there. It's a good looking group of bees. They clearly have more than five filled out. They've got one, two, three, four. Looks like they're working on five. Uh, it's a good thing I, I got in them when I did because it appears they're getting ready to move to the outside there. Here's my bag that had LGO in it. Wow, this thing has picked up a lot of weight since I brought it here. I really am in need of putting some mulch down here. I, I've been just so behind this spring. Now this is a group that was caught in, a, in an area, I've talked about it on the blog, there were bees that lived in this area in hives uh, back in the 80s and then Varroa came through and pretty much shut that guy down. So these bees are probably somehow related to those bees genetically. Now what I'm going to do is just try to keep the order here. I'll show you all the combs as I take them out. This trap had one piece of drawn out comb and the rest of it was foundationless frame with no starter strip or anything. So we'll see how well they did. There's a brand new piece of comb. Right there. As you can see, these foundationless frames they're drawing them out. This is a nice docile group of bees. They're not getting real upset. It is a great working day. Here's another one. her a little. See yet another one. Here is the comb, the original comb that you can see it wasn't that great. Actually, I don't know. That actually is very full of nectar. I don't know where. Need to be checking these for some, maybe some brood. I haven't seen any yet. Oh yeah, there's sealed brood there on that side and a little bit on that side actually that there's some sealed brood over there and some honey see the queen See her on there, but that's another foundationless frame. Get myself a little smoke here. There 
There's another comb. As you can see, they don't have them all filled out, but they're doing a pretty good job. Actually, I think there was comb on almost every single one of them. See the queen in here. I place this away here. Uh, check it real quick to make sure there are no there's no queen in here, and there's not. I'm just gonna place that away from the hive just a little. And they have been cleaning those frames. That's that dust there. That'll be all right. Um, I'm pretty much out of follower boards. I've got several hives that I'm experimenting with those on. So this is just going to be, I'm going to do 10 frames. I wish I would have brought another deep. Really, they probably could use it. But I'm going to have to just wait till next week sometime. Come back and add that. And it's just that simple, uh, taking a trap of bees and putting it in to a hive body. Uh, I tell you what, doesn't get any easier than that. That's a good group of bees. They're a little confused. This looks a little different to them coming back. They'll settle back down. Need to get some mulch down over here to keep this grass down. But uh, those are hived, and now next week I'll come put another deep underneath there. And uh, that's what I'm telling you, man, these swarm traps, even if you only had one or two hives, if you get one of those, I would believe you'd never have to buy bees. <laughs>